When buying a new MacBook, an important question that everyone must ask is how much storage do I need? And the answer depends on what you want to do with your Mac. But in this video, I'll help make that decision a little bit easier. And I'll wrap it up by talking about a few things to consider when buying storage. A good place to start when figuring out how much storage to buy when upgrading your current computer is to ask yourself, how much space do I currently have? And does it work for me? If it does work, for you feel free to click off the video right now but for everyone else let's figure this out together specifically with the new 2021 macbooks the base model comes in at 512 gigs of storage and for a lot of people that is probably going to be enough the good thing about getting the base model is that you can also use external ssds and these things can be plugged into your computer allowing you access to more storage the downside with these is that it's they're always going to need to be plugged in meaning it's a little more annoying if you're traveling or commuting a lot because you're gonna have to remember to bring them with you or the cords for them and I'm super forgetful so it's happened to me a couple of times when I'd have to go back home just because I forgot the SSD or something for the SSD going back to 512 gigs though this is a good base for people that work a lot in the cloud edit 4k videos and mostly stream or have their media in the cloud if you download a lot of huge files you're better off upgrading to more than 512 gigs and to be honest i have 512 gigs and it's only been a problem for me once and that's when i was editing a huge video project that ended up taking a lot of space on my external ssd and my internal ssd so it started to slow down the computer and i had to plug in a backup external ssd it's not a big problem but it did make me kind of regret not getting more storage now this is a better time than any to remind you to subscribe if you're still watching i make a lot of videos on macbook so if you're into that maybe you should consider subscribing to the channel if you require more storage perhaps you are also a video editor or someone that deals with high quality projects in adobe or like final cut pro you may want to look at other options apple offers one terabytes two terabytes four and eight terabyte options but apple charges an arm and a leg for this seriously you can really blow the bank on extra storage with apple prices going up to around three thousand canadian dollars for eight terabytes of storage at that rate, I think you're probably better off buying a hard drive if you need that kind of storage because you might risk losing that storage if your computer gets damaged, you get water on it, you're gonna lose all of those important files. So don't put all of your eggs in one basket. Let's talk about some things to consider when buying storage. If you're tight on cash, you might wanna go with the base model and also download Clean My Mac. Clean My Mac is a Mac app that allows you to instantly free up junk on your computer. It really is something I use for years before they reached out to me. And it also has some other tools like managing your RAM, deleting applications the right way and more. So I'd suggest checking it out. The link is in the description below. You can sign up for Clean My Mac today and support the channel. When buying storage, you also want to consider how much RAM your computer has. Apple utilizes swap memory, which means that when the RAM runs out of space, it's gonna start using your SSD storage as memory. And if you only have 16 gigs of RAM, you can run into a problem, especially if you're low on storage. You might also want to consider resale value. You may be thinking that you should buy the most specced out Mac so that you can flex on your boys. No, I'm just kidding, but it's so you could sell it for a lot. If you think about resale only, I'd suggest buying the base model because that's what a majority of consumers need since not everyone has a need for 40 terabytes of space or 60 gigs of RAM. With that said, I think that the biggest takeaway or the biggest tip I can give you from personal experience is that you should just buy the most storage that you can afford at the time. It will help you out immensely to not have to carry around extra SSDs and will relieve your anxiety just by knowing that you won't run out of space. If you still have questions though, drop them down in the comments below. I'm gonna make sure to respond to every single one of my comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.